Hi, Misha here. Well, night two of vacation, or as the kids call it, staycation. <laughs> it's funny, when I was younger, I, I traveled sometimes for work stuff, sometimes just because I, I wanted to. And I enjoyed traveling, I really did. But as you get older, it's just as much or even more of a treat just to stay at home and, you know, not have to get up or go to bed. Except when you feel like it, eat food that you want and mess with your stuff. I've been doing, you know, my gun stuff and my models and it's just nice to not have a whole lot of pressure. I don't know. <clears throat> Plus, if you think about it, most vacation is like a, a visual thing. I mean, I do enjoy eating out at new places and meeting people, but most of what people do on vacation is seeing. I mean, sightseeing, sure, but also museums. You know, it's a visual thing. So, not just not a whole lot there for me. Especially considering how much it just costs anymore. Plus, you go on vacation, you get back, and if you're lucky, you have a day or two before work starts, and then you're back to it, and you're even more exhausted than you were before. I'm not, you know, dismissing the value of travel and getting out of your comfort zone. It's definitely worth it, but I don't know. It's seemed more easy to deal with in my 20s versus 40s. But, um, yeah, hey, hey. Oh... Not a whole lot happened today. I was hoping to sleep in, but woke up early and just got up. That's me. If, if I wake up, I'm up. I'm not one of those people that can just kind of lounge around in bed all day. There's too much that, you know, needs to be done. Needed to edit videos, get our clips from yesterday's shooting put together. Just put up a video on the POF MP5. You know, I put one up on this channel a couple of weeks ago. It is a neat gun. It really is. I think it's just because, you know, we had the HK-94s from the 80s. But they were always so neutered, you know. They had the long barrel, no threading, no three lug, no paddle mag release, no push pin lower. They're just, you know, I don't know, they just, they lost something. And then after those went away, all we had were like the Todd Bailey guns, like uh, the special weapons and... Heck, I remember even around 2000, a special weapon, a, a, a not great clone, was a thousand bucks. Nine ninety nine ninety five and shotgun news. <laughs> it's a lot of money back then because, I mean, that was the time when Romanian AKs were in the three to four hundred range. Uh, Chinese AKs, lightly used, you could still pick up for two fifty, three hundred. About the same for Egyptian. ARs actually were more, but you know, a good AR Colt was around seven to nine. If anything, ARs, are, ARs have come down because of inflation and all that. But you know, I digress. My point is, even a meh clone is expensive. So, it's really cool that we have POF and MKE, which are much more authentic than even the HK. Yeah, I know they're not made in Germany by Hans or Fritz, but I don't care about that. I just want something that's reliable and fun and looks the part. I mean, how else can you do diehard cosplay? You gotta have it, right? <laughs> So yeah, watch some stuff online. Well, listen to technically, but yeah. Tried to order food. I don't get a lot of delivery since I've been married for years, but you know, obviously in college and when I was living single, I would order. And that was just, you know, call up your local restaurant and they deliver. Well, then it went to go onto our website and deliver. So kind of cutting out the human and now it's gone to the app for delivery. And I was trying a new one, a restaurant we like, um, Szechuan House, which is pretty authentic Chinese 
Mandarin type food. They were they were with this one service, so they transferred to another one, and I was trying to make an account with the new service, and I could not convince it that I was not a robot. You know, they have that recapture thing, and typically there's a alternative version you can click to um, to have like an audio cue versus the visual. This didn't have one, so I could not click it. And I was hungry and getting frustrated, so I got a friend to do it for me, but I had to call him up. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. I mean, I have to ask, is, is there a problem with robots ordering Chinese food? I mean, I could understand if I was ordering batteries or, like, oil, grease, lubricant, and, I don't know, motorized dildos, but... Food? I don't know why robots would be ordering food. In, in, what if I were a robot? Isn't that discrimination? I mean, that just seems wrong. I mean, Star Trek taught us that Data was a sentient, sentient organism, so... Yeah, that's not right. Yeah. <laughs> that was my big profound thought for the day. But, um... Yeah, just setting up for another model video... Thought I'd step outside. It's a little warmer tonight, but still a nice, kind of cool night. It was supposed to rain and even maybe storm today, but it really didn't. It was pretty sunny and a little bit warm. So, all in all, not a bad day. Maybe I can sleep in tomorrow, and then Monday. There's always stuff. I'm never truly 100% off work. That's just kind of what it is owning your own business but it's what I grew up with my my family owned a hometown newspaper a weekly newspaper and so the longest we could ever go on vacation was four days because they just they couldn't leave the business typically the paper would get put out on Wednesday afternoon so we could leave either late Wednesday or early Thursday morning typically early Thursday we had they could take off Thursday and Friday. They didn't work weekends because, you know, that was then. So we have Saturday and then we usually would try to come back not too late on Sunday so we could do laundry and everything. So I never grew up with those long two week vacations as a kid. As an adult I took a few. A couple of times to Russia, a time or two out to Portland, you know, a few other places here and there. But, um, you know, that's all right. Besides, I have too many critters. I don't know how I'd leave all of our cats. They'd have a conniption fit. They're already stressed with my wife being gone. So, if I were to be gone too, they'd think we abandoned them for good. <laughs> yeah, just a little black box update. I'll try to get a couple of model videos up here shortly. And uh, Jay and I were able to get some hopefully pretty cool content recorded for Mishiko. Kind of a little bit of old, a little bit of new, a little surplus. You know, try to try to mix it up, try to vary it up a bit. Doing our best, guys. Maybe there'll be something cool come out, but I'd love to see more Polish AKs. An archer pistol would be neat. But aside from that... Mm -hmm. Do not know. Be neat if Colt could get their act together, but <laughs> good luck with that. I'd love to see uh, Colt Canada, uh, Demico stuff coming in, but that's probably never going to happen, unfortunately. And of course, I'd really love to see Japanese stuff, a semi auto type 64 and type 99 uh, type 89 but that will definitely never happen and that's actually by Japanese constitutional law the way their whole system is uh, structured and that's why the the Hawa produced Armalite AR-180s didn't last long oh well I'll just have to settle for Japanese models which actually no one's released anything new there either I think my most recent one was that um, that uh, T4 
trainer that Hobby Master put out a couple of months back. But um, oh, and the Kate, the uh, the bomber from World War II. I guess that was back in August, so about two months ago. But yep, so that is my boring life. But you know what they say, boredom loves company, so ha ha ha, I've suckered you in. <laughs> anyway guys, hope you're having a good weekend. And uh oh what do you what's your Halloween costume? Halloween's in about a week. Uh, what are you what are you going as? I think I'll go as a blind person. You know, funnily, I I was uh went to a frat in, in fraternity in college and uh we had midterms that just happened right around Halloween. And I show up. I didn't have time to get a costume together. I just, you know, barely made it over. And this girl at the frat who didn't know me thought that was my costume. Come to think of it, a couple of years before that, I was at a high school friend's Halloween party. He always threw killer parties. And uh, he was... Uh, having one there and he had some girls there that I did you know we hadn't met um uh, he he was gay and um so they were always you know how that goes they were just hanging out but they were definitely just platonic friends with him and uh they come in and one of the girls introduces herself to me and um she gets mad and like kind of huffs off and then my friend had to tell me later she'd actually had her hand out wanting me to shake it Obviously, I didn't know it was there. So, <laughs> yeah. My, my uh, Halloween luck hasn't always been great at such parties. <laughs> oh, a lot of motorcycles driving down the road today, too. I guess just because it is really nice weather. Yeah. It's good to get out of the office or out of the house and get some fresh air. I try to come outside at least every couple of hours myself. I always feel better with fresh air. Anyway, I digress. I'm going to go in and grab a fresh shower now and then uh, work on some notes and call it a night, guys. Anyway, appreciate you sitting here with me for a bit. And I'll be back very soon with more pointless, aimless ramblings. Have a good night. <laughs>